beautiful Friday. Uh, today we have our wonderful LNL team with us. We have Andrea, Sharon, and Andre. How are you doing today? We're good. We're good. Thank you for having us. Absolutely. Thank you for taking the time to, you know, show us around and explain how it works. Um, so let's let's start off with uh, how long has LNL been working with Caruso Homes? LNL has been working with Caruso Homes for about two decades already. <laughs> And it's, it, go ahead, sorry. It has a strong relationship. Um, and when does LNL usually uh, get involved in the process and the home buying process when you go and pick out your flooring? LNL will receive a uh, notification from Caruso Homes uh, that there's been a sale and they introduce the new home buyer to us. Uh, they'll let us know um, how to reach them to schedule their appointment. And uh, LNL has 11 design centers in the area um, and the customers will pick what's most convenient to them. Uh, and we'll schedule an appointment, a uh, private appointment, one on one. Uh, with the home buyer, and so there's no interruptions, no other customers in the design center while they're working, and um, at that time, uh, we'll we and we work uh, seven days a week, uh, day and afternoon and evening appointments uh, to accommodate the buyer schedules as well. Um, but once they come in, um, they are going to be with either uh, Sharon or Andre, one of our designers, um, and they're going to review uh, their selections, their house type, uh, make sure they've got all the rooms covered, and they'll start to get into um, their lifestyle and what their needs are, um, what they've liked from past homes and um, what they're looking to do going forward. Uh, see what their lifestyle is like, if they have pets or, or any children, do they like to entertain? Um, I think understanding what the buyer needs is really gonna help coordinate and pull everything together um, for their new home. Absolutely. Well, let's go ahead and hand it over to Andre and Sharon and see what comes standard and go throughout the beautiful showroom you have and show them a bunch of different products. Okay, we'll, we'll do. All right. This is Andre. Hello. <laughs> Hi, Andre. What do you have to show us today? Okay. I've been with um, LNL for 13 years, and my job is to make sure that the client has the best floor experience ever. Make sure they understand exactly what they're getting with their cabinetry, the countertop, and the flooring. And it all comes together to give them the home that they expect. Um, I'm going to show you the, the standards that come with Caruso first, and then we'll get into some of the upgrades a little later on. The standard laminate, which everybody's tracking to now because it's highly durable, it's water resistant, it's scratch resistant, comes in four different colors. It's seven inches wide, 12 millimeters thick. And it's pet friendly, it's kid friendly. And the beauty of this is usually when you have standard hardwood, it's only gonna be in one, two or three colors. Now we got the gray tones, the naturals, the grayage and the brown tone. So this would be the standard laminate that comes with the Crusoe Homes. Going into the carpet, the carpet is a 23 face weight per ounce carpet. It comes in six colors, called a texture carpet. What's the Again, the coloration of the carpet is what's really detailed because usually with a standard carpet with other builders, you only gonna get a tan, tan, and a darker tan. Here you can see we have some grays, a light gray, a beige, and some darker tones. So the, the client has a nice assortment of different colors they can mesh up with whatever the lambeth they have, they select. Okay. The padding that goes underneath the carpet, which is very important, is a 3 8 inch rebond pad. It's five, registered five pounds of cubic foot of pressure density. This is what performs a carpet. If you can walk on a carpet and fill the floor, that means you're going to burn the fibers up in half the time, which means you're wearing out your carpet. So this is a very good pad for a builder's grade pad. The bathrooms. The wall tile would be a six by six white glaze that goes around the tub surround or the shower surround. And then on the floor, it would be the exact same tile except for it have a matte finish to it so you don't slip and fall. So that produces safety. So that would be the standard for the Crusoe packages. Mm -hmm. Now let's get into some of the vignettes I've created here, showing some of the trends where people are actually going to right now. They stand with the laminate. When you go up one level, what you're doing is you're creating more definition. You actually can feel the wormhole, the knot holes, the registration line, the sawn cut. It has more of a realistic wood look to it. And the beauty of the laminate is, again, it's highly 
scratch resistant and waterproof. Now, the three vignettes I put together here, one is gonna show you a, a, a craftsman style house that's seven and a half inches wide. You can see the registration line, you can see the wormholes. And we meshed it up with a darker cabinet and a lighter tone of a uh, granite countertop. So it all plays, the tones all play together. The next one's gonna be more of a coastal look. This you're gonna see like it's a driftwood look. You'll see like in beach houses. You'll see it in um, on the shore. This one we created a white cabinet with a gray countertop to bring out all the natural tones that's in the in the laminate. And the last one, laminate also, is gonna give you a, like a finish in place look. This is actually nine inches wide with a gray cabinet and a queer looking um, countertop. But it, you can see all the tones here is what the trends are going to now versus just a plain old gun stock or butterscotch. Yeah, okay. and what's great is that you guys have the colors of our cabinets and the granites so that the buyer can compare each of the different floorings to the colors that they want in their house. Absolutely, and what we do at the very end, any type of products they select, whether it's ceramic tile, uh, laminate, carpet, we put all together on the floor so they can actually get a really good visual of how their house is gonna look. And they usually take pictures of, of the flooring and they go home with a big smile on their face, <laughs> okay? Absolutely. Turn it over to Sharon. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Sharon. How are you? I'm great. How are you? <laughs> Good. So on this um, on this area, what we're going to feature today are luxury vinyl planks. You know, most of us grew up with light vinyl flooring, and it used to be that it was a sheet vinyl, but now they the new product has re evolved. It's called luxury vinyl, and they have wood looks to them. I want to show you this one up close and in person. You can see the wider plank and also the textured floor or the textured features of this floor. It makes it look more wood-like. It has a core back, which gives it a nice warm feeling to walk on, and also an HD core, which gives it a lot of support. It makes it nice and firm. And if you look at the very top here, that's where the vinyl surface is. These floors are easy to take care of. You can wipe them up with a uh, Swiffer pad. They're uh, kid friendly, pet friendly. For those of us who have a busy home, these are a great floor to consider. And we do a lot of these in the model homes for Caruso too. If, you, if folks walk in the model homes, they'll see a lot of the floors are either laminate like Andre talked about or the new um, luxury vinyl flooring. So what we did, we put together a vignette here showing your, counter, your countertops and your cabinets together which gives a nice look. And then over here, we did another one, more of the cooler tones. A lot of folks like this look too. With your beautiful countertop, we love your, your countertop selections and your cabinet. And this gives for a nice open feel. If you like, if folks like that, that coastal look like Andre mentioned, that's what this does here. So um, easy care floors is what everybody's looking for these days. Um, they're moisture resistant, like we talked about too. So if you spill something on it, you don't have to worry about it damaging the floor. And they will not fade from the sun. A lot of folks ask about that. Okay. And I, I do want to say you did just get a great shout out, Sharon, from Candace Jones. She says, hi, Miss Sharon. You are so awesome. And we enjoyed your, our appointment with you. Thank you, Candace. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Thank you, guys. Thank you. We'll turn it over to Orange right now. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, back to me. <laughs> All right, for those wood lovers out there, what's trending hot right now is actually two different types of woods. Not the old school wood that's flat, but we're looking at a wood here that has hand sculpted, hand scraped. So it has the undulation, it has a chatter to it. You can see the wormhole and knot holes. What's really nice about this wood is birch, it's five inches wide, and if you drop something on it, if you touch it up, it's noticeable, but not to the degree of a flat surface. So it's a little more forgiving with kids as well as uh, animals. And with the vignette we put together, again, with the Crusoe countertops and cabinetry, you can see how nicely that blends together with all the, the coloration of the, of the floor. Your second look, is very trending, very popular now, is what's called your wire brush look. This is a white oak, seven and a half inches wide. You can see the white the wire striations throughout, so it gives a nice smooth surface, but it does have the character of wormhole, knot holes, has the um, growth rings, and this we pair it up with a darker cabinet with a lighter countertop to show you the contrast of the two, uh, how it all comes together. Beautiful. So these, these are two looks that people are, are, are trying to attain at this time. Okay? Absolutely. 
Okay, right. and with that, come on over here. As we pass the beautiful backsplash wall. <laughs> Inspiration. Back to Andre again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's talk the bathroom tiles now, or even common area tiles. Typically, again, the white 6x6 six six is going to be your standard. So your first bump up was trending hot now is your 12x12 12 12 or 13x13. 13 13. And as you can see in the black rack here, you have a lot of different looks. You have a Strands look, very modern. You have a Carrera marble look, white 13x13 13 13 with faint gray stripes through it. Very popular, very clean. Nice. Okay. Also, for those out there that would like to have a travertine look, this is more like a natural stone that's going to have the undulations and the clefts. It's a very uh, rough feel to it. It comes in three different colors. But your first upgrade tile from the base 6x6, six six, and these can go on the floor or the walls, is going to be the whole rack you see here, as well as you have a 4x8 subway tile that's white, and that has a flat finish to it, as well as... A bevel, which has become very, very popular. When you have a bevel finish on a bathroom wall, it's very dimensional. You can see all four corners, and it just, it's just not flat. Also, in that same level, we can get into the elongated tiles, very popular now, which is going to be your 12 by 24s. These can be placed on the floor of the walls. They can go horizontal, or we can install them vertical. So depending on which way the customer prefers it, we'll install it that way. Sometimes people will actually take a tile like this and put it on the floor, and they'll do a hair bone pattern or a chevron, which is very, very trendy. So these are some of the items that the customer can do to make their house stand out from any other house in, in the neighborhood. Okay? Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Very good. All right, next, Sharon. Hi, Sarah, me again. <laughs> Hi. Hi. So we want to talk a little bit more about tiles, and we created some vignettes to show folks how they can how they look when they're installed. But I also want to talk a little bit about what's also coming back into the marketplace we've noticed um, are the Tuscan looks. These tiles are absolutely beautiful. They give nice patterns, nice texture, warm tones are coming back into the marketplace. You know, it used to be everything was gray. Now we notice that the trend is going warmer. Also, I would like to offer you to show you the stack stone rack that we offer folks to, you know, if you if they like it for a kitchen backsplash, we can use it in that area, but these are very popular as well. Different tones, again, your warms and your cools and all. So if A could follow me in this vignette, I, <laughs> I would love for you to see um, our vignette wall. So in here, we have a, a different variety of tiles. This tile has a nice textured surface. You could, you know, see the, the waves and the grooves in it, which is very popular now. And if you're looking at HDTV, you look at Howl's and Pinterest, a lot of these tiles are very popular. Behind me here is a 12 by 24 tile. Um, we bricked it so you can get a, a look, a, a vision of how a brick tile looks on a wall that's large. Like Andre said, these are 12 by 24 tiles. The advantage of them is they open up your space, they make your area look larger, and this is a very popular look. Here, we did a subway tile, just a, a 2 by 6 subway tile, uh, sorry, 2 by 10 subway tile, which is really popular too. The gray tone again, that's, it, a lot of folks love this look. And what I'm standing on is a pebble. Um, shower floor, which is really popular. And a lot of the uh, Caribbean and California bathrooms, these um, products can go in as well. The next vignette, we decided to show a niche. And this is a 12 by 12 niche. And you can set your shampoo bottle in here, which is nice. Also, again, your warm and your cool tones. This is a warm tone. Nice veiny tiles we're showing. Um, gives that nice warm feel. And then this one has more of the grayer tones, looks more like marble, very, very popular too. Behind me, a little darker for folks who like that warmer tone in their bathrooms. This is a popular color as well. And for those who like to shave their legs, <laughs> we'll here for you, okay? Or if you can sit on it, it's there for that reason. So on the floor, as you can see, this, it's a different shower floor. This, this size is very popular too. Over here, I want you to see 
how the beveled 4x8 tile looks that Andre showed earlier to you. Um, it just has a little bit of dimension. People like this too because it's very contemporary and we bricked it. And also there's a larger niche here. This is a 12 by 12 and a 6 by 6 bottom for the guys who, who are still using soap or bar soap, should I say, or um, for their razor. So this is a nice um, niche to use, to have. It's, it's very versatile. We decided in this vignette, instead of um, horizontaling the, um, the tiles, we decided to vertical them. Vertical tiles tend to make your bathroom look taller. This is a very popular look. And if you notice, all of our vignettes uh, run the tile all the way up to the ceiling. So running it to the ceiling is an option that folks can um, decide they want in the shower room, but it's very, very popular too. And you'll see a lot of that. Another display, cooler tone again, of a vertical display. And I want to show you this rack here. This product is made by a company called Wild. Very nice for a backsplasher in kitchen or a paddle room, bathroom floors. I've done many of these for my customers and they love that look. Hey, if you can get in here, Andrew, if you can get in here. <laughs> <laughs> this tile is a polished porcelain. You know, it used to be really expensive to get marble, shiny marble. So the manufacturers now have created the polished porcelain look, which is very nice because it looks rich, but it's shiny and it gives a bathroom more of a um, richer look. For those people who like that spa look, that wood-like look, this is very popular too. And we decided to brick it. It's a nice textured surface, but it looks like wood, but this is tile. Mm -hmm. Lastly, another 12 by 24 tile, warm tone. And then also, you know, the pattern on the floor is very popular. We do a lot of that as well in homes and in models. The last rack I want to share with you is this one here. On this rack, you have different tones to choose from. Again, 12 by 24 tiles, very popular. If you rub your hand across this, it feels like slate. So instead of paying for a slate floor, this is a porcelain tile that looks like slate and it feels like slate. Very, very popular. And you can see the career marble as well. And this rack we, we have in all of our design centers. Okay? Very good. Thank you. I'm going to show a, the rest of the rack there. There's a plethora of options, yes. as you can see. And this is the next level up from that, um, that rack we saw over there that Andre presented to us. So these are affordable options. Uh, and next is Andre. Okay. I've just seen all that gorgeous tile. Going <laughs> <laughs> here called padding. <laughs> going back to the standard pad. The standard pad again is three inch, five pound pad. And a pad's just like a shock absorber on a car. You don't see the shock absorber, but the shock performs the tires. Same theory with a pad underneath the carpet. If you walk in this carpet and you feel the floor, that means the pad's doing nothing which means you're going to burn the carpet out in half the time. So your first upgrade, and we highly recommend it, you go from a five-pound pad that's three-eighths of an inch thick to a six-pound pad, which is seven-sixteenth. Not only does it get tighter, it gets denser. So when you walk on it, you're not going to feel the floor, and it's, it's going to help to form the carpet. From there, then go up one more notch to an eight-pound pad. Eight pounds recommended by Consumer Report, Family 4, for 10 years. The density factor picks up from the six pounds to eight. But those out there that have animals or kids that either release on the floor or spill on the floor, you can determine which one is which. This pad is also an eight pound pad, Scotch Guard Plus. It has the antimicrobial barrier on the surface. So it's anti mildew, mold, fungus, hyperallergenic. So if a dog releases on the floor, if it penetrates down, it will not absorb into the pad. It will absorb into the pad. The last one is called the memory step back pad, just like the memory foam pillows and mattresses also has an antimicrobial berry on it. So these two are highly waterproof padding. Okay? Nice. Back to Sharon. Hi, guys. So we want to talk a little bit about carpets that are, um, you know, upgraded carpets and the textured surfaces um, that a lot of carpets have. This carpet is a nice low pile carpet. It's called textured. If you look at the surface of it, you can see that it has a little pattern, but very slight. We do a lot of this carpet in homes because it's very dense, it's very durable, it's easy to vacuum. You don't have to worry about stuff penetrating the surface of it. And when you put pressure on it, it does not um, crush down. It springs back under pressure. But this is called a textured carpet, okay? 
for those who love the plush carpets, we have those too. They tend to be a little softer on the surface. We call them Saxony plush carpets. And they're just a shorter version of how a shag used to be, but not a shag, okay? But it does feel nice to walk on. If you have small kids, people like this carpet because they like laying on the floor with their children or just sitting on the carpet and watching TV. But this is a great carpet too. So these are just a few of the options that are offered in upgrades. And this is another one, another pattern, cut and loop carpet, um, which is very popular. A lot of folks like this, even for a rec room, you don't have to put the same carpet everywhere. You could have feature rooms. For instance, like your family room can be different than your bedrooms. Your basement can be different than your bedrooms. So this will be a nice carpet to consider maybe in a more relaxed, casual space. Then also the cut piles tend to be a little shorter, multi-tones in some of them. These are very popular as well. Behind me, we thought we would show you some more pattern carpets. Again, for feature rooms, like in a family room maybe, or in a basement. Um, and, they, and the good thing about this product, the manufacturer is smart to give pictures. People love to see room scenes. So you can see how the carpet looks down with furniture in the picture, because nobody, a lot of people don't know what kind of furniture might go with their carpet. So this is really a nice visual for folks to have when they come in the showroom to see pictures. And also the color tone. You can go from warm tones to cools, with this pat with this carpet and it feels really nice to touch too it's a nice beefy carpet again if you like that plush feel we have plenty of them that feel like you know feel soft when you walk on them when you touch them and the good thing about the manufacturers they're coming out with colors that are very innovative and in style these days so it can fit everybody's lifestyle this last one if you like more of the line carpets, lines tend to elongate a room to give it more depth and more length. This is a great carpet to consider. Again, a nice room scene. Thank you, company who manufactured this one. And the colors are great as well. Okay. So you can really design your home to fit your needs and your lifestyle. And that's what we're here at LNL is to help you do that. Um, over there, I want to go over the a little bit with the, the blinds rack. Is that okay? Yes. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Thank you, Sierra. <laughs> Line display. This is the product, so the company is the company we use. Sorry. We have everything from the two-inch white faux wood blinds, and around here, there are some other blinds, too. Some of them are remote control. I'm not going to spend too much time on this, but I want you to see that, you know, we try to supply everything that um, a customer might need as far as their flooring needs and also their blinds needs. Got to protect that investment, right? Got to protect that investment. <laughs> and windows need treatment, too. They need covering. <laughs> so, That's right. Yes. All Thank right. you. Um, All right. I, Andre? Okay. <laughs> oh, backsplashes. That's right. Okay, we're going to finish it off by showing you some of our kitchen backsplashes that we can offer the clients. As you can see, there's a whole assortment of different tile sizes, looks, textures that would accommodate any person that comes in here with needs. You can go from the bland three by six subway tile to something very elaborate like a leaf pattern. So that shows you where you can go from soup to nuts on all our kitchen backsplashes. And when, when a customer comes in here, they want this will actually will finish off their house to make sure it feels the way, feel like home. Okay. Very good. All right. Thank Absolutely. You. Well, thank you so much, LNL team. That was fantastic. You've inspired me. Um, but we do want to reiterate, you guys just work with builders. Um, so, you know, it's not available to everyone in the public. So it kind of makes you special when you're building a Caruso home and you have all of these different options. Absolutely. I know it, it's such a fun part of the process, you know, just pulling together their dreams and, and designs. So uh, it's really neat to see it in the end and, and all come together. Um, Absolutely. But we enjoy well, it. thank you all so much for your time. Um, and everyone stay tuned for more videos that we have coming up next week. Thank you guys again so much. We thank you. Bye. Take care. Bye, Sarah.